Hey guys, it's Akila from prettyawesomefitness.com and welcome to my very first video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to lose weight easily just by knowing about calories, so stick around. Let's get started. So the first thing that we want to know is what are calories? So calories is basically a standard unit of measurement for potential energy. Just like kilograms or pounds is a standard unit of measurement for weight and meters and inches, standard unit of measurement for length, calories is a standard unit of measurement for energy. And energy can be measured in calories or kilojoules. It's good to know that one calorie is equal to 4.18 kilojoules. Alright, so what that means is that if you have something that's about 450 kilojoules, you can easily convert that back into calories by dividing it by 4.18. And that would give you about 107 calories. But just for today's tutorial, we're going to stick to calories just to not confuse you all, okay? So where do we get these calories from? Or where do we get energy from for our day-to-day -day living? And it's too easy we get it from food. So say for example you've been having or you had spaghetti and meatballs earlier for lunch. This spaghetti has energy in terms of calories to give you the energy you need for work. All right? And food has four different components to it or four different macronutrients, all right? And the first one will be carbs. That's where it gets we get energy from, we've got protein, so we've got fats and alcohol. So all these four different micronutrients gives us the energy that we need every single day. And carbs and protein has about four calories per gram. Alright, and fats has nine calories per gram, whereas alcohol has seven calories per gram. This is important to note because if we actually look at fats, it has a very high calorie content. How this actually relates is that if you look into eating something with a lot of fats in it, it doesn't really matter whether it's saturated fat or unsaturated or even polyunsaturated, okay, you will be consuming a lot of calories. So it's just good to know in terms of food selection. Alright, so how does the body utilize the energy that we get from food? Alright, so this is the first step of knowing how to actually lose weight. Alright, the body uses energy that we get from food in three different ways. I'm going to just draw a little small pie chart here. There's three different distribution of energy every time we eat. Alright, so the first one is your BMR. And BMR, alright, it constitutes to about 60 to 75 percent of our energy needs. What BMR stands for? Simply basal metabolic rate. Or in simpler terms, and you've probably heard of this, is your metabolism. Which is what your body needs every day just to stay alive. To breathe, to blink, um, or your internal processes, that's what your BMR needs. And that's how much energy that you actually get from food would actually contribute to your BMR. Number two would be your TEF. All right, so TEF, which is about 10% of all your energy need, is your thermal effect of feeding. Every time we eat, okay, it goes through several processes to digest, to absorb, and to assimilate the food that we have. And this takes up about 10% of all our energy needs. And that one out here is your physical activity. Alright, so physical activity, depending on the individual and how active you are, it does take up about 15 to 30% of our energy needs. And there's three different components is how 
our food and the energy we get from our food gets distributed and that's really important so how do we use this information to change our weight or to lose weight according to our BMR and that is simple First things first though, we do need to know what our BMI is and to calculate our BMR we use the Harris Benedict equation. Don't need to know exactly what it is, okay, but just be familiar with the name, the Harris Benedict equation and it takes several factors like your height, your gender, your age and your weight into consideration and right now I'm just going to show you exactly the exact calculations of how you can work out what your metabolism is okay and so grab your pen and paper so for men we've got here 66.5 plus 13.75 times your weight and this weight is actually in kilograms guys it is the metric version considering I'm recording this from Sydney but if you log on to Pretty Awesome Fitness, I would have the Imperial version there as well. So stick around for that. All right. And you add your height and you times that by five. And you would subtract 6.76 by your age in years. And same thing with the height is in centimeters. And your weight is in kilograms. For the ladies, it's a little different. It's different figures and numbers, so it's good to know 655 plus 9.56 times your weight plus 1.85 times your height and you minus it off with your H. Alright, so 4.68 times your H. This is worth taking down, okay, if you want to screenshot this, go ahead, okay, I've done my calculations earlier and if I've actually put in my weight, which is 68 kilograms, I am 168 centimeters and my age is 24, I would actually get 1503 calories. And this is basically how much calories I need to survive to breathe, to blink, to all my internal processes, so just to survive. It does not take into consideration how active I am. That is why to know an accurate measurements for that, we've got to add or we've got to multiply our BMR by our activity factor. And there are five different activity factors which I'm going to outline here right now below. Okay, so the first one is that if you don't exercise at all so you have no exercise or little exercise okay possibly once or even twice a week all right all you need to do is you times your BMR by 1.2 and the second activity factor if you exercise at least about one to three times per week lightly about 30 minutes in a day like yoga and things like that all right you just multiply your BMR by 1.375 if you're moderately active, if you're exercising currently three to five times per week, you multiply by 1.55. If you are exercising actively, so you're exercising at least six to seven times per week, you multiply your BMR by 1.75. And if you are very active, like you're a bricklayer or you're a builder or you do split trainings, like twice a day kind of thing if you're an athlete you might not want to lose weight but you want to know what your BMR is according to your activity factor you just times it by 1.9 okay and if I actually take my BMR earlier from the previous slide and I'm gonna confidently conf confidently choose 1.55 as my activity factor because I would rather underestimate my activity factor instead of overestimating it which leads to overestimating your calorie needs so I'll just take my BMR and times it by 1.55 which leads to 2330 calories and tada this is the calories that I need every day just to maintain 
So if you haven't already, grab a piece of paper, grab a calculator and work out, pause this video and work out how much calories you need. And from here on out, I'm going to show you how you can actually lose weight knowing what your maintenance calorie is. Alright, so how do we lose weight knowing that your BMR is that much? Okay, so for my BMR is 2330 calories. We all know that if I eat more than that, I will put on weight. Alright, and if I have 2300 calories, I would maintain the weight. If I have anything less than that, what would happen? I would lose weight. Alright, this is good to know because. For every one pound of fat or 0 0.45 kilograms of fat, this is approximately 3,500 calories. If you've got a goal of losing about 2 kilos in a month, that works out to be about 500 grams in a week. And all you need to do is you're going to take this amount, which is 3,500 calories, and make sure that you have a calorie deficit of that much. Which is quite simple really to achieve in a week. How can we do that? Alright, we can take 3,500 and divide it by 7 in you know, 7 days in a week. Okay, it works out to be about 500 calories. Alright, and if we try to aim to have 500 calories deficit in a day, okay, we can simply lose about 450 grams in a week. So having that calorie deficit leads us to eating less plus moving more and at the end of the day this leads to weight loss it's quite a simple equation which also answers uh, the problem why people put on weight is because they're eating more than what they should and Sometimes you're just not aware of how much your BMR is and how much you have to consume every single day. So it's easy to just go overboard and increase or take in more calories than what is needed. So how can we have a calorie deficit of 500, all right? So there's three different scenarios, all right? Number one, you can eat 500 calories less a day, which is good. All right, that is achievable. If I am 2,330 calories as my metabolism, I take in about 1,800 calories and I will lose weight. If I eat the same amount but I burn 500 calories in a day through exercise, that's possible too. And last one, and what I always recommend my clients to do is to do both. Have a balance. All right, so you're balancing out eating and exercising because that's what and that's how it's actually being done. Okay, so if you balance out your food and you're looking at your diet all right, and you're also exercising, you will lose weight. All right, so just to wrap things up, okay, how can you actually lose weight? Number one exercise alright so using all this information to lose weight you've got to exercise alright try to aim at least 30 minutes of moderate to high intensity of exercise a day or if you've got a heart rate monitor try to burn at least 300 calories per day and you're on the right track number two look at your nutrition all right, take care of your diet. Be aware of what your BMR is. All right, start tracking your diet. I advise my first-time clients who is new to this, I will look at your food diaries and things like that. But if you don't have a trainer, go on to myfitnesspal.com. All right, it is such an excellent website and it does have an app as well so which you can download and what it does is you put in what you've eaten the whole day and you calculate how much calories you've been taking in. So check that out and last but not least is to keep going which is your attitude. All right, keep going. Never, ever, ever, ever give up and I'm going to say that again, never ever, ever give up.
all right it takes time for your body to put on weight it will take time for it to lose weight so have the right attitude okay balance things out and have fun have fun enjoy the process enjoy the fact that you are losing weight your body's changing every single day so don't give up and just keep going all right guys so that's it from me for today if you enjoyed this video and you like more help with your fitness um, nutrition exercise and everything else if you want to see success stories if you just want to be surrounded by like-minded people go to my website here prettyawesomefitness.com and everything will be down there I would also upload a transcript of this video pretty soon so you can get all the equations there as well if you like this video please subscribe to my channel I am planning to upload videos once a week so check things out um, and if you absolutely love it share it as well you can see me on Facebook at facebook.com slash pretty awesome fitness um, on Twitter and if you have any comments or questions just drop me a comment below so that's it for today thank you all the best and take care